Hey guys, it's Krishanti, and every week I bring you a new video about psychic development and spiritual and personal growth. And I learn how to be psychic. If you'd like more info on that, check out my website at krishanti.com. But over the years, I've really noticed and seen and learned how the general population thinks and what they think about this whole psychic thing. A lot of people think that you have to be born with it. A lot of people are very angry and um, like to be naysayers about the fact that, or the fact, or what they believe to be the fact that you can't do it and it's a bunch of baloney. And then some people are flat out afraid of it. So in this video, I want to talk about the number one reason why people are afraid of the psychic stuff. And it's pretty basic. They don't want to find out anything bad or scary. And so they are afraid that if you dabble in the psychic arts or you pull some cards and do a reading or you're just intuitive about things, you will stumble upon something related to them or something that's going to happen to them, which is tied to a feeling of powerlessness that will be bad and scary. And so rather than kind of find out more about, about the whole thing, they're just like, I don't want to know. I, I don't want to know anything bad. And you know, that really does make sense. If you look at how, um, quote unquote, paranormal phenomenon is covered in the media and in um, movies and whatnot. It's, and even the word paranormal to me sounds really scary. Like um, bad things are gonna happen. Like there's gonna be evil spirits and ghosts and, and, and horrible, terrible, scary things. There's so many TV shows and movies about the dark side of all of this. In fact, I think part of human nature is this, um, this fascination with the, the darkness. And I will be honest with you. Yes, it really does exist and it is scary, but if you walk in the light and you connect with angelic frequencies, which are very real and you have the firm, um, unshaking sort of intent to reach the highest source of, of goodness and light and healing and beautiful potential, that scariness can be circumvened, but you have to keep your energy really, really high. And what I would like to say to the people that say that they don't want to know anything bad or that they're scared is that a, a good, someone who's good doing reading, um, reading cards, and, and that's most of us really, we're not in the business to, to say bad things. Although I have heard from people that, from certain astrologers that they've heard very damning and condemning things. Like one girl actually just today told me that her friend 10 years ago looked at her astrological chart and told her she would be struggling with money her entire life, which is just like, bam, that's a doom sentence. And I can see how that how damaging that is. Whereas if you were to, to deliver a message like that, or you saw something in a chart or in a reading that the person had struggles, you could say, well, it looks like in your lifetime, you will have struggles with money as you've already experienced, but you can find ways to, to shift that and transmute that energy and it heal that karmic cycle in this lifetime, which is possible. And then you give an empowering message, but, um, you know, it, it's like back to what I was saying about that most of us doing a reading art don't want to say to tell you like, uh oh, like this bad thing is going to happen. Sometimes they do come up though without us wanting to. And, and sometimes I'm thinking of all these different examples as I'm talking, but sometimes when you say something like, let's say you're, you're afraid to know about a relationship. Well, your fear is most likely your intuition telling you that something needs to be looked at or, or healed. So a good reader will help you work with that and, and very gently help you see ways in which you can, again, transform, transmute, shift the energy and, and all of that. But bad things really do happen. 
And I remember once doing cards with a friend of mine, one of my dearest friends, and the tower card um, in the tarot, it's a, it's kind of really a scary looking. It's like a tower and people are falling out of the tower and a bolt of lightning striking the tower. Well, the tower card came up over and over again. And what I had learned about the tower, what we both knew was that it represents a sudden and dramatic change that's unavoidable and oftentimes cannot be predicted. You can't say what that change is. But now I get, I'm talking about it more and understanding why people would be would be scared because you're, you're doing a reading and you see this tower card and you're like, oh my God, what does that mean? Like, am I gonna get in an accident? Is something really bad gonna happen? Do you see something bad happening? Um, so we kept getting this tower card for her couldn't really figure out what it was but then her apartment building caught fire she was fine her pets were fine but um and everybody was fine nobody got hurt the property was damaged her property was okay she ended up moving out actually it shifted everything so it was dramatic and and scary while it was happening but she ended up moving in with her boyfriend and they got married and she's in a beautiful place now with a gorgeous view and it's just lovely so it was a traumatic thing to have to go through with a wonderful kind of eventual outcome but i would like to i mean i guess i'm talking about this not to give advice but just to kind of start a conversation or or just give a nod to the the fear out there that blocks people from embracing the psychic arts and the beauty that intuition can can lead you to the the joy and the happiness if you approach it from a sense of yes i know there are good things and bad things that happen in life and a reading will show me options and help me move towards a a really nice direction um that will that's kind of like the best way to go to go about it and that will bring the most optimal results one thing that i see changing and glad it's changing because it needs to be changed is people going to um intuitives and saying like tell me what my future holds that's it as far as what's happening in my world that doesn't happen anymore because people create their own future so while certain things are going to happen and again I, i've talked about this in other videos that this whole fate destiny versus free will thing there are certain things that are set in stone but um it's more about again helping a person in the now make a good decisions solid decisions based on the, the highest possible outcome so that they can create a wonderful future. And if something undesirable is going to happen, they'll be strong and empowered and be able to move through it. Because again, uh, bad things in life are unavoidable, unfortunately. But a good reader and intuitive isn't going to sit there and say, well, your future says, you know, you're always going to be screwed with money. You're never going to find love. You're never going to lose weight. You're going to be stuck at this job for the next 20 years and you're going to die miserable all alone and penniless. Like no good intuitive is going to say that. That's mean. Really, that's horrible. And if you ever go to someone that says things like that, go to somebody else right away and ask ask them to, to help you clear that energy and get you onto a, a more of a higher track of, of empowerment. Um, it's just so interesting. We need to learn not to give our power away to the people who can read the cards or who can, can activate their clairvoyance because we all have this ability and we can all do it for ourselves and figure out just the subtle nuances. Um, I just wish there were more positive shows about all of this. Like I am going back to like the, the shows and the movies and it's all, a lot of them are just all about people using energy for manipulation and witchcraft and bloodshed and, and dark stuff and not enough happy 
magical stuff. I mean, even Harry Potter has this battle against evil, although now I'm just prattling on and on and on. But um, I think you kind of get what I'm getting at. If, if we could just turn the direction a little bit, a little bit and make it more like this is wonderful. This is light. This is good. Good things happen. It's that's probably more for like the Hallmark channel. But um, I think it might start to help change public opinion and not have people be so afraid that by tapping into something um, psychic that they're going to find out something really bad because most terrible things can be transmuted um, not all the time totally avoided but but transmuted and it reminds me of um, fairy tales you know even in Sleeping Beauty where the the and I talk about fairy tales because you know they're the foundation they create these pictures that we all tune into tap into the greater collective um, archetypal stories and images and clairvoyance is based on these images but in Cinder no Sleeping Beauty the fairies were all giving their gifts and then Maleficent who wasn't invited came anyway got angry and cursed her and then so she had this horrible curse and then the fairies transmuted it and they softened it so it still it still happened but not as badly and then something good happened after that and that's another thing it goes without saying but i'm going to say it anyway life is um filled with positive experience and positive experiences and not so positive experiences things are always fluctuating and changing and it's about just finding balance that's why i love the I Ching so much because it's the, called the book of changes it's another form of divination but it helps you navigate the changes of life the constant flux and find the way which the I Ching calls it the way which is the highest path it's very beautiful and all of this is very beautiful it's very epic and very mythological and if those who are afraid kind of can shift and look at it in those terms like it's something lovely it's something protective it's a form of guidance it's like a compass um really good things i think could could happen and we could all feel a little more safe with all of this so that's all i wanted to say about that thank you for watching if you'd like to um subscribe please hit the subscribe button or the notification bell and at krishanti.com i have lots of courses and meditations if you're interested so thank you again and i'll see you next week bye